Welcome along to the second part of our video series where we are creating a 3D model of our desktop organizer in SketchUp. Uh, this is the finished product that we are working towards. What we are up to is this. Okay, so in the first video we created the drawer that is going to sit inside of our desktop organizer. Now a couple of things I did forget to do in the previous video. One is to save this before we go any further. So make sure you hit save up the top here might just take a while but it will load up the Trimble Connect box here and allow you to save it. Now give it, give it an appropriate name like Desktop Organizer and um, once you've saved that you should be all good and saving it every few minutes or so. My internet's struggling tonight so I'm not going to worry about saving that for the minute. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to click and drag over the top of that um, draw so everything's selected everything should pretty much have blue outlines on it once you've done that just right click on your draw and make it a component and give it the name draw just click ok what that does is basically makes it into one big shape and if you want to use that drawer again there it is there you just need to click on it once and you'll see a second draw comes onto your page okay so we've made the drawer a component we've saved it we are ready to move on to the second part of our tutorial where we are making the carcass of our desktop organizer. Basically the body of the desktop organizer. Okay, so I want to use the uh, three axis again. So I want to get this drawer moved out of the way. So go and grab your move tool from your toolbox on the left. It's just those bunch of arrows. Just shove it over the left there. Just click and drag it over the left. And I'll just get rid of it for the moment. And we can see our Y, Z and our X axis once again. First thing we want to draw on the carcass is the base of the carcass, which is just a 3mm piece of plywood. So I'm going to change my view over here on the right. Let me just close off components. When you click on the view panel, you'll see these boxes come up. We want to choose the top view. Now it'll take you straight over the top of your drawer. So what we need to do is just move back over to our axis here. Okay, so hold down shift and hold down your mouse wheel and drag across to move your view above the axis okay something pretty much like that would be perfect um, as i said before we're drawing the base of our carcass so grab the rectangle tool and click on the origin where the axis meet and the size you want is 220 comma 140 and that will make a rectangle that's 220 mil by 140 mil just zoom in a bit there. If you want, grab your white select tool and just hold down your mouse wheel and do a bit of a fly around. Okay, you can see that that's a 2D shape at the moment. We need to make it 3D by extruding it. So go over to your toolbox on the left and grab your push-pull tool. Click on the shape and drag up. It doesn't matter how high you go. Once you've dragged it up, just type in the number 3, which will make it 3 millimeters when you press Enter. Okay, so that's the base of our organizer. Grab your white arrow, triple click on that uh, base, ensure that it all goes blue so it's highlighted. Right click on it, make component, and just call it carcass underscore base. Press OK. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do after the base is uh, the sides. So... Let's, yeah, we'll probably go back to the top view to do that. So let's go to our views and choose the top view again. So we're looking straight down on top of our base. Grab your rectangle tool. And once you've got that rectangle tool, pop on over to your base here. You can start in any corner. I'm going to start in the top right corner. Just click and drag out. And see that that's going the wrong way. Let me just grab that. Rectangle tool again. If your rectangle's playing up a bit, just click off it. Maybe grab your white arrow, go back and select it again. Try again. I might try a different corner even. There we go. That looks a bit better. Okay, so we want to go up 140 mil, and we want to come across 12 millimeters. Okay, so you can either type in 140 comma 12, or you can just move your mouse into that position. And when you see the dimensions down the bottom, set on that. You know you've got it right. Um, now once you've got this in, we need to extrude it. So you go grab your push-pull tool. Still a bit of a fly around here to show you what's going on. We need to bring it up, so click and drag up. 
Now that's coming up a total of 70 mil. So that far, I just typed in 70. And that's our sidewall. Grab your white arrow, triple click on that, and then right click on it. Make component, just call it carcass underscore side. Click OK. Now we could draw that again on the right hand side, it'd be pretty easy and just do the same thing. Or we could just duplicate this and drag it across, which hopefully will work OK. So let's go to the top view. And now that we've got the top view, let's come across a bit. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to grab my move tool, hover over the top of this, and I'm going to get the top right corner. Hold control, drag it across, and dump it somewhere near the end. Okay, it's not going to be in the exact right position. So let me just get back to the top view here. I'm going to come across. That looks pretty good that side. Let's see. Okay, you can see that it's not quite in the right position. So just grab that bottom right corner and drag it back over. So it snaps into that corner there. We've now got our two side walls onto our carcass. Okay, they're looking pretty good. They don't seem to be overlapping the edges. Okay, it looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is put the top on here. Okay, so let's go to the top view and we'll try and do it this way. We'll see if we have any luck. So grab your rectangle tool again. Click in the top left corner. And drag down. Okay, you want to come down. Whoa, what are we going to do for this top? 140 down comma 220 across and press enter okay that is the wrong way around we might need to try that again just in reverse oops so it'll be 220 by 140 gotta make sure when you drag it out that's rectangle like that is going the wrong way it's not going to come across the top of our carcass so just move it around a bit until you see it like that let's try 220 comma 140 that's better. Okay, so we've now got a 2D rectangle sitting on top of our carcass. We just need to extrude it up a distance of 20 mils. So let's grab our push-pull, pull it up, and you can do it by hand or type in 20. You should have something looking like that. So that's looking pretty sweet so far. Uh, the next thing we might do is put some runners inside of there for our drawer to sit on. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come around to the side view here. And I'm going to click on this side wall. Oh, actually, before that, sorry, the top, we need to make that a component. Triple click on the top, right click on it, make it a component, call it carcass underscore top. Click OK. Alright, so that's a component. Alright, back to the side view. Okay, so in your view panel, choose the side view on the right. Click on this side wall, select it, and then right click on it and choose hide. That will just hide it. Okay, so you can see now that we've just got rid of this side wall. Okay, we'll put it back in just a moment. What I want to do is I want to draw in the runner over here on this far left wall. So we're going to need our rectangle to do that. And our runner is 140 by 20 mil. Alright, so let's go from that corner, bring it out, 140, comma, 20, and press enter. Okay, that's made our runner. Just need to push pull it now, so grab your push pull tool, pull it to the right, a distance of 12 mil. Okay, and that's a runner that our drawer will sit on. Now to bring back this other wall that we just hid, Okay, I want you to go to these little glasses down here called display. And you've got the unhide option up here. Just choose all. And that will bring back that wall that went missing. Okay. What we'll do now is simply triple click on this runner. So we select it all. Right click on it and make it a component. We'll just call it runner. And grab our move tool. Hold down control, grab that bottom left corner, drag it straight across and snap it in on the other side. Okay, so we've now got our two runners in on either side of the carcass. 
So that's looking pretty good. Now draw should fit nicely in there uh, when the time comes. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to do the back, uh, the back wall or the backboard of our carcass. Let me just show you what that is, where the Batman symbol is. That's the back wall. All right, so let's swing around to the back view here. Quick way of doing that is just going back to our views and selecting the back view, like so. All right. Now to draw on this backboard, what's the size? I've got it written down here. I'll show you where I've got it written down. Here it is here. Okay, so the back wall is 220 by 220 and with a 3 millimeter depth. So it's another 3 mil piece of plywood. Okay, these thicker bits here are pine timber. Uh, but the skinny ones are just ply. So let's grab our rectangle. And I'm pretty sure it's going to start right in the bottom left corner. I'll have to zoom in a fair bit here. Click and drag up. Just write 220, 220. Press enter. And now if you zoom back and around, you've got your backboard sitting on. Yeah, looks good. Just need to give it a bit of a push-pull to give it that 3 mil depth. So pull it back 3 millimeters. So it looks like that. Okay, so you can see your desktop organizer coming together quite nicely now. That's probably all we need to do in this video. Once you get to this stage, that's where we stop and the rest of the desktop organizer is up to you. So I'm going to show you how to build it that far in class. And then from there, you need to get creative and put your own personal touch onto your desktop organizer. Okay. So very quickly, I'm just going to um, triple click on that backboard and make that a component. I will call it uh, backboard. Click OK. And I'm going to color this thing in. So a quick way to color it in is just highlight it all. So it's all selected. Grab your paint tool. And remember to find your wood option down here. We'll just use this wood here. And click on it. And that will color it all in for you. Okay, so we just do a quick fly around. That's looking pretty good to me. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. In the next video, what I'm going to do is come back and show you how to do some side walls and put a picture in there that you can laser engrave onto your backboard. Okay, so I'll catch you in the last video very shortly.